Texas Rangers hosting the Oakland A's, and the A's are plus 145. On the money line, the Rangers are minus 170. The over-under is eight and a half runs. Oakland getting a run and a half are minus 145, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. The Rangers laying a run and a half are plus 125, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by two. Now, Caprillian pitched once against the Rangers this year. Four and a third, four runs, four earned. They won that game six to five. And Otto has pitched once against the A's this year. Five innings, one run, one earned, and they won that game eight to one. Now, the A's are on a two-game losing streak. They are 18 and 28 on the road this year. The A's are six and eight as a team with Caprillian on the mound. And the over is eight, four, and two in the games in which he's pitched. The Rangers are on a one-game winning streak. They are 20 and 21 at home. They are five and six as a team with Otto on the mound. And the under is six, four, and one in his last, in all of his games that he's pitched this year. And his last two games that he's pitched have gone under. Head to head, the Rangers are eight and two against the A's in their last 10. The underdog getting a run and a half is seven and three. The last four games that they've pitched and played against each other have gone over. The over is six and four, and the over eight and a half is six and four. I'm gonna take the Rangers with the money line, the A's with the runs, and the over. And the reason why I'm hedging is because both of these pitchers' ERAs are fairly similar. So this is probably gonna be a bullpen game, and it's a division game, so they dislike each other a lot. There have been two one run games in the last 10 games, so. It's either the underdog wins or the favorite wins. I just got a funny feeling about this game. These are my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.